Hi, I'm Sarah with the Beloit Public Library and welcome to our March video short. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the treble clef, which is this fun symbol here that's really fun to practice drawing if you want to try that. And we're going to talk about some of the note names on the treble clef staff. Um, so for the spaces, it's really easy to remember um, that the spaces spell face. So the bottom space is F, the next space up is A, next space C, and the top space is E. So that's kind of a little thing you might already even know that one, face. And then for the lines on the staff, um, you could do every good boy does fine. That's what I was taught. You can make up your own. So it's E, G, B, D, F for the lines. So here's a little handy chart for you to start learning some of those. And then also included in the packet is this song called Treble Clef Note Names, and it's sung to the tune of Yankee Doodle Dandy. So I thought we might want to try to sing this together. If you want to get this out, you can follow along. And um, if you're a little bit more advanced and you play like the piano or the guitar, you'll notice that the chords are marked G, D7, looks like there's a C. So you could play along um, with the chords as well. But looking at the first note, it's the second line up, which means it's a G. And on the ukulele, this is the G. So we're going to start on that note, G. And let's do it. Treble clef note name, sing them with me. Five lines, four spaces, that's the key. F A C E, put your face in space. The lines on the staff are a different case. E G B D and F, E G B D and F, E G B D and F, that's how it is with the treble clef. So that's just kind of a fun song. You can practice that by rewinding it again if you want to try it again. Um, and then since our March theme is winter animals, I have a couple worksheets here for you um, that are winter animals. And there's little blurbs about the animals on there, but it's also a worksheet of how to, um, to learn the note names as well. So I think I'll just do the first one with you and walk you through the first one. Um, if you look at the first note, it is in the second space. So if we follow our face, F A, the A is in the second, um, the second row there. So the first one is A, and then we have R, and then the next note is the third space up, which is a C, so we have A R C, T I, and then, oh, we have one that's below the the staff, which means that it's on a ledger line, and if we look at our little handy dandy chart here, we'll see that that first ledger line below the staff is also a C. So that means that this C and that C are the same note, but they're just an octave apart. This one's higher, that one's lower. And then the last one is the first space there, which we know is an F. So F-O-X, we have Arctic Fox. So there's a bunch more to do, and this will help you figure that out. There's also an answer key if you get stuck, so try doing those fun worksheets at home. So another way of talking about note names is with solfege which you might know as do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. So those also represent the names on the staff in any given key. And do is the root note. And you might know this song, um, do, re, mi, from the sound of music. It's one of my favorite musicals. So we're going to sing this song today. Let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. When we read, we begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi, Do, Re, Mi. 
The first three notes just happen to be Do, Re, Mi, Do, Re, Mi, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti. Do, a deer, a female deer. Re, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Fa, a long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling thread. La, a note to follow so. Tea, a drink with jam and bread. And that brings us back to Do. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, So, Do. So, Do, La, Fa, Mi, Do, Re. So, Do, La, Ti, Do, Re, Do. When you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. Yay! I'd also like to recommend this book. It is Do Re Mi. If you can read music, think Guido de Arezzo. And so a long time ago, they didn't have a way of writing the music down. So you just had to memorize the music and it had to be passed down like an oral tradition. But this guy, he came up with a way of notating or writing the music down. And he did kind of these little dots and he put them on these little lines that we call the staff now. And that is what evolved into our modern musical notation system. So that is a pretty cool book if you want to learn a little bit more about the history of musical notation. All right, um, now I would love to make a little harmonica craft with you. And so, how this goes is you need two large craft sticks, any color, and a little piece of a straw, a plastic straw, and you need one kind of big rubber band, and you need two little rubber bands that can even be smaller than this. And you first have to put the large rubber band in the middle. This is going to be the part that vibrates and makes the sound. And then you just have to put these little straws on here and near the end, ends, put the other craft stick on the top. And then, oops, I found that putting these right at the end, like right near the edge and not tightening them too tight don't over tighten it or else it won't really sound like much. So you just kind of fasten the two sticks together this way and then when you blow through here that rubber band is going to vibrate and create a sound. That's a pretty crazy sound and you can adjust the rubber band or the straws and stuff to see if it changes anything. That made a really high one. This one that I did, you can put stickers on it if you want to to decorate. This one makes a little bit of a different sound. So it really depends on a lot of different things. Where I'm blowing into here, maybe how tight the rubber bands are. So you can experiment and um, see what kind of sounds you can come up with that. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Make sure to check out the other library shorts videos from the other area libraries. And I hope to see you in the library soon. Have a great day. Bye.